Hello everyone and thanks for joining us today at 2020 Flight Simmers. Uh, today is going to be a short video trying to help us get some better FPS out of our flight simulator and uh, have a better flying experience. I know we have an update coming here shortly so it may not even matter but for people using lower cards, lower end cards, this may really help you out. Uh, it helped me out and um, so I want to share the information along with you. Uh, this is mainly for NVIDIA cards, so if you go to your NVIDIA control panel and the manage 3D settings, uh, you want to leave your global settings. I keep them all on basic. Uh, I hit restore, restore all these to your normal settings. Then if you go to program settings here, you can hit add and then in the drop down hit your Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now the reason why you want to do this is because some of the settings that we're going to be changing here um, you don't want your graphics card running at full speed, full kilt, all the time, even when you're not using uh, the simulator. So that's why you would want to do this, uh, this way that uh, your card can idle every once in a while. Uh, so if you go down to the very bottom here, there's a couple things that I like to switch out. So vertical sync, I like to put that in 3D application setting. This way I can turn the V-Sync on and off in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I find that turning that on and keeping it at 30 frames really helps me out. The next thing uh, that I also like to do is turn on the texture filter quality uh, and put that on high performance. And when you turn that on high performance, a couple things are going to happen. You'll see the texture filtering here comes on, and the texture filtering here turns on. Uh, that will also uh, really help your performance. The last thing that I want to set is the power management mode here, and that is prefer maximum performance. And again, uh, the reason why you do this is so that your uh, graphics card isn't running at full kilt all the time. And then uh, when you go ahead and start up your flight simulator, it will run with all these settings and that should get you uh, a pretty good FPS boost. So if that helped you out, uh, give us a thumbs up. If you like to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. You'll get notified on all of our future videos. Thanks for watching 2020 Flight Simmers. We'll see you on the next one.